where where my job was different uh, compared to other ambassadorial ambassadorial postings was that we had a global mandate. So it was not only about being the ambassador to Silicon Valley or being the ambassador to, to you know, the the Chinese company in, in Shenzhen or or elsewhere. It was really to try and have a, a global approach and working with the industry uh, across uh, across the planet. And and why did we do that? Well, we did that because we think fundamentally that technology doesn't necessarily respect sort of the the tr traditional Westphalian uh, structure of, of, yeah. of governments. It, it transcends everything. Uh, it doesn't respect uh, national borders. It doesn't respect mm -hmm. regional organizations. So, so in order to look into the future, inform our decision makers, our uh, uh, politicians, uh, we thought we had to take a sort of a global stab at that. But, but if we speak very practically, Omar, uh, you know, mm -hmm. we, we didn't have a network. Um, when, when I knocked on the doors in, in Silicon Valley and said, you know, hey, I'm the ambassador of Denmark <laughs> to the tech industry, you know, they say, you know, come again. Uh, what are you? Who are you? And what do you want uh, to do with us? And, and very That's often brilliant. they sort of, they looked through the uh, small crack in the door rather than opening the door completely. <laughs> so it took a while to normalize uh, relations. Yeah. Well, that uh, says more about them than about you, of course. Yeah, but but you know you you could sort of be you could be a little bit vain about it, say that's super inappropriate because you represent a, a government. But I would actually say that I have sympathy for the fact that when you're trying to break new ground and do yeah. things differently, it takes a little bit of time before sure. uh, before you have a, a standardized set of uh, of uh, modus operandi. Mm -hmm. 